So, you want to see what the green gas mod can do with your AKM Max. This is the first time I'm going to do this test, uh, just so you know what my rifle has. I've just put in the Angry Gun 130mm spring for the recoil, makes it a bit snappier. Uh, internally, I have the Jaeger Precision, the little um, nozzle, the little thing that goes in the nozzle, makes it the right jewels and I have the Jaeger Precision Hop Arm. That is literally it. Because I want to shoot this with 0.48s. Um, I'm going to be shooting down in my garden, but we're going to go like through real time. You're going to see me fill this mag up that's had the green gas mod, and uh, we'll see how many shots we can get through with this new Angry Gun Spring. So I'm now going to fill this up. This is completely empty. You'll see how long it takes. Fairly getting cold now about the middle, we're about 25 seconds. It takes a while, they hold a lot of gas. And there we go. So what I did find is that if you put this straight down, it's, it leaks a bit more. But if you tilt it back, I think Ollie talks about something like I said about this as well. If you tilt it back a little bit, that's how you want to fill these magazines. So that's full now. I'm going to use Jaeger Precision's little you know, ad adapter. It makes it easier. Point four eights. Point four eights. If you didn't hear that. That's full. We'll just see what it is looking like on the uh, chronograph. It is shooting. Two fifteen. Two ten. Two twelve. Two thirteen. Two fifteen. Two oh nine. 2013. So it's pretty consistent for a gas gun. I don't know how many shots I just shot off then, but we're now going to go through it and see how many we can get off it. Might as well shoot the target for fun. Right, let's turn this on so you can see what I'm shooting at. One thing I did find, oh, that's why. That's three shots. What I haven't I've gone through, let's pull that down. Bear with. It's my bad. It goes down, doesn't it? There we go. It didn't lock, it didn't um, lock because, well, not lock back, but it didn't stop firing because I had the anti lock back feature engaged so I could just dry fire it. So that's a full mag plus three shots. Obviously I wasn't exactly being slow about the shot fire. Another full mag. I'll give us any chances. Let's go. Proper snappy. There you go, and then lock back. Right, let's refit it again. It's getting pretty cold. Straight in.
that's three mags, so that's what, 35 times three, that's 105 bucks. That's full. She's getting pretty cold. Bloody hell. Let's go. See it dropping like definitely. Oh, I think I might have uh, just moved the hop. Okay, that's four mags. You can hear it again in a little bit. Oh. You feel like that's ice cold. quickly just the hop because I pretty sure I moved that yeah I did right so look so there you go she's hopping again Yeah, <laughs> this site, oh that's gone. Oh, the recoil is absolutely smashing that to pieces, so that's good to know. Now doing the spot eye. I don't remember if that was the fourth or the fifth. It's going to be on the video so you can see how many pieces she is. Okay, that's full. Can't believe that. Recall's destroying that. Okay. Wife is not going to be happy how many BBs are down there. I think that was the fifth refill, sort of five BBs here that have all fallen out of this, so that was the fifth. So we're on the sixth refill. I should have really not used 0.48, so it wouldn't have been such an expensive test. didn't like do its lockback feature or whatever it is um, but it did empty the mag there you go so it locked back one two three four five six so let's do that now I think we can probably say that it's not gonna have many more come out of it Oh. You can 
see the condensation on that. Really, really cold. Jesus. It's, it's barely lifted. Definitely losing power. Didn't lock back or whatever that is, and so I didn't have enough to actually feed that BB. Still for now. Double fed. And I made it right. Not guilty. No, nah, good man. <laughs> there you go, mate. You alright? Yeah, not bad. Bad at all. What you got for me? A couple of packets and four or five packets for you, buddy. Cheers, buddy. Okay, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Cheers, no way. Sarah, mate. And that's it. I'm out of BBs. <laughs> uh, so, however many that was, that gives you an idea of what this can do with the green gas mod um, with the angry gun 130 130% uh, spring. Yeah, I'm sure if I had the standard spring on there, we'd get more out of it. But man, that thing chugs along. Turn this off. Um, yeah, so again, the angry gun spring, the egg precision, the little nozzle valve, uh, his little arm. I'm shooting 0.48s. And I think that was seven max, possibly eight. Um, yeah, I didn't see anyone doing a proper test of how many BBs you can shoot through one fill of gas with the green gas mod. I mean, that is freezing cold. But there you go, it's now here. If that helps you, convincing you to do the green gas mod, then there you go. Do it at your own risk, though, because obviously when you do it, you void any warranty that you get with these things. Um, it's pretty simple. The guy, Jaeger Precision, he has done a video on it. You literally take that bolt and that bolt off and be careful because the spring for the uh, stopper is in there you take that out you take the spring out and stopper out and then you get a large flathead screwdriver undo both valves and the second valve that comes out has a large tube on it cut that just so the smaller valve just passes through and that's what I did and obviously you can see how much you get out of it so yeah Thank you for watching and um, I'll see you on the next one. Just a quick one at the end of this video. Uh, obviously you saw in what I was doing the testing, this has come completely loose. Uh, so yeah, I don't recommend buying this anymore. I'm gonna put the original sight back on it and play with that for a little while until I can find a much more better option for me to be able to mount something on a picketing rail. Um, it was only about 15 quid, but it sort of relies on that Allen key there, that little bolt and two bolts here to keep the pressure down onto the actual sight part there. Um, and obviously the recoil was just too much for it. So yeah, I don't recommend that. Anyway guys, peace.